All right, Coach, uh, at this point, uh, looking back on your, your regular season, what positives uh, can you take away? Uh, I think it's been a good season, long season. Um, it's been some ups and downs. Uh, it's always tough when the guys have to come into school, a uh, new coach, so everybody's got to kind of get on the same page, but um, we're moving in the right direction. Uh, Nicholas, uh, as a freshman, leading, leading the team throughout the spring, uh, I think he's had 14 rounds of 77 or lower. Uh, how impressive has he been uh, as a freshman to be able to do that? Yeah, he's been awesome. All year, he's been so steady. Uh, his consistency is pretty ridiculous, actually, um, especially for being a freshman. Uh, he, but, you know, he's got high goals, and he's going after those, and I know he's probably looking to do better next year, and, and he's looking for big things moving forward uh, to finish off the season. Uh, you guys closed out the uh, the spring season with a, a couple of good rounds as a team. Uh, how can you carry that uh, momentum going into the uh, WAC championships? Yeah, I mean, we're just always looking to continue to improve. Um, like I said, it's been some ups and downs, so we, ha we have thrown some good rounds in there, but uh, they just need to keep sticking to the routine, and hopefully eventually it will pay off. Uh, Chris Felix has played on this course before. Um, he's actually had some uh, some decent success there, qualifying for the uh, U.S. Uh, amateur championship in, in, on that course. Uh, how how can his knowledge benefit uh, the team? Uh, yeah, Chris. Uh, like you said, he qualified for the U.S. amateur on this golf course. Um, it's probably the highest accomplishment you could achieve in in amateur golf, at least. So, yeah, his confidence is is pretty high moving into this uh, into this venue. Hopefully he can carry that confidence throughout and, and let it rub off on the other guys. Um, and he will definitely be an asset in the practice round.